from her. Imagine a black and white photograph. So what happens with JPEG compression, and this is a really basic kind of shortcut definition of it, but what happens is the compression dumps color and keeps like what would be a black and white layer. So in other words, it keeps the tonality dark to light, which the human eye is really good at detecting, and it dumps the detail of some of the colors. And so for example, when you see this orange ball here, this orange ball, um, what you're seeing is a lot of different colors of orange. In fact, maybe a little red and black is mixed in, magenta. And so what JPEG would do with this ball, 
It's a Spalding, by the way. It's really cool, too. I borrowed it from someone. It's really nice. I'm going to keep it. Anyway, what JPEG does is it would take this orange, and rather than have like five hues of orange, it would cut it back to only one, but keep the dark to light. So as this ball had more light on it, it would be a lighter shade of orange. And as the shadow comes down, it would be a darker shade of orange. It would just keep one shade of orange and use the luminosity. Ooh, I'm sweating. The luminosity from dark to light to actually modulate and create the color that was originally there. So it's great at tricking the human eye. What you have to know is it really is dumping color information out. It's resampling color information or what they say called subsampling color information and keeping 100% luminosity which then allows it to do a really good job especially with images that are realistic in nature and images that have a tonality range that's smooth which means photographs.